What's up everybody, this is Damron with Trash Ass Gamers and we're playing Bastion. This is part two of our complete guide. We're covering the entire game from start to finish and we're going to be getting all the achievements. Uh, this is part two if you weren't at part one. Um, just a brief update. So we're going to be covering the game from start to finish, all the levels and all the achievements. And so that's going to entail all of the vigils in the game as well as we're going to be doing the proving grounds and the who knows where dream sequences. So obviously I'm not going to be talking through Throughout the entire gameplay I will link in the comments and the description when specific levels start if you're looking to just watch a particular level and I'll also link uh, particular achievements that are going to be obtained in this part as well as any vigils we unlock and at those points I'll talk about how I unlocked it or anything specific that you need to know regarding that achievement or that vigil and one thing I do want to point out as we're progressing through the guide um, obviously one of the achievements that we're going for is the hard bargain achievement which is a score a million points in score attack mode don't worry about the particular scores that you see me getting in a particular level we're going to be doing the who knows anywhere sequences in the game and that's going to give us well enough points to get that achievement so don't worry too much as we're going through trying to get a higher score on any particular level in fact just progress normally the score will come as we go and of course once we hit a million we'll talk about that achievement a little bit so let's get progressing through the um, first few levels we're going to cover four levels in this part the oldest scumbag of them all Gershaw. The calamity ain't done much for Gershaw's sunny disposition. Kid cuts up Gershaw like a fine apple. Old scumbag didn't feel a thing. for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Inside the forge, Kid can fine-tune those instruments of his. Kid's lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. With a good length of Miska, that bow's like new again. A little Zolwood oil on that blade shines like a light. Core ain't here neither, so he's gotta guess again. Up north is where the gas fella foreman used to live. Alright, so we're coming up on the first of four items we're going to need for the pet sitter achievement. This is the Ragged Hood. Um, these items we're going to pick up and it's allow us to bring domesticated animals into Bastion. Um, but do keep in mind, it's okay if you miss these. You're going to be able to purchase them from the Lost and Found monument in Bastion if you happen to not pick them up. Um, so don't worry too much if you actually miss the item. Blustery old foreman's keeping his fellas in check, almost like he's showboating for the crowd. And now there's a new marshal in town. He hears the whole place groan, but it's too tough to fall. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where he started. comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. The All right, to so bring the first of the four domesticated animals into Bastion, we need to talk to the stranger about the ragged hood we picked up. And again, you're not going to get an achievement there, but that's one of four of the pets. And once we bring all four, then we'll get the pet sitter achievement. So we're a fourth of the way there for that. Guess he's got a sense of humor. Huh. 
so the second uh, monument that I like to build is the shrine um, this is going to give us access to the idols and when you play in score attack mode you're going to have access to all 10 idols immediately um, now I don't actually activate them right here but later we will activate those so that we can get an experience boost that's going to help us get a higher level prior to doing the who knows where quest and a little bit later I'll talk to you about which ones I activate um, but for now let's progress on to the next level But then, somebody gets to the core before the kid. The floor starts giving way under the lightest step. The single panic squirt could bring the whole place down. So could a reckless kid, for that matter. Fragments of the old world rain from the sky. So the second of the 15 vigils that we're going to unlock is the Gravers. The Gravers has to be done with the machete weapon and you have to get 15 hits in a row without being hit and that's really really easy. In fact you'll probably get it without even trying. Just make sure you equip it and you know especially against the squirt enemies you can get a lot of hits really really fast so that's not a difficult one that you'll be able you know you're not going to have any trouble unlocking that one. Spyglass, like the ones they'd use to search the stars. The calamity changed everything, even where the wind blows. to the winds in the old days, we can do it again. But the question is... Who else could have taken the core? Well, ain't no survivor stole the thing. Scumbag ate it by mistake. Tough break. Unlike the kid, that core ain't coming back. No, they used to ship live munitions down the path. Find time to find them. He's wise to toss those things plenty far away. Even gas fellas need some shut eye from time to time. They get real cranky when you wake them up. toil, 
kid keeps coming back to an overwhelming question. Who else could have survived the calamity? So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. The Gravers, they are Majestus. They seemed unstoppable. In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on the squirt. Of all the plans to survive the calamity, it had to be stab weeds. Blasted things hurt like a broken heart. Cuts down every stab weed like there's gotta be a prize for it. If there's a core, he figures it ought to be deeper down. Core stuck inside one of those fancy cages. He throws a switch. Now what could possibly go wrong? Quite a bit, as it turns out. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All kid can do is wait. Shipments start falling in. Not every score is born bad. Some spring to the kid's defense. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while. Don't take kindly to interlopers. Even some gas fellas take his corner. Birdie pop that needle before him. At this rate, maybe five more minutes. Maybe thirty. Hard to tell. Words can reel territorial around the core. Then a ship and a free sample shows up. It ain't all bad, as the kid finds some spices from the motherland, tax free. One thing's for sure that cage is awful heavy.
I still remember the look on his face after that one. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. A lot of things need to The dead welcome him with open arms. The calamity took everybody after all. Kids he's a plane with frozen faces all around. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. Someone who ain't like Mr. Bentley and his kindly wife. It was someone like him. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. He's got so many questions, after all. Just ain't got time for answers. They never saw what it was like beyond the walls. Nor did the bird boy. Didn't make it. The Jawsons. They didn't make it. Grady Sr. Grady Jr. They didn't make it. But him, he survived. Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? The core survived as well. Kid does what he has to do. What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. We have to go. Please. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. We fought the Ura decades ago, but that was then. All right, so after you beat the Hanging Gardens, you need to talk to Zolf and talk to him about any item. As soon as you talk to him, you will unlock the achievement, The Survivor, which is to complete Hanging Gardens and talk to the Survivor. Now, technically, that is missable if you don't talk to Zolf. Um, so just be sure you do that. If he leaves Bastion before you talk to him, you actually won't um, unlock that achievement. So that's going to wrap it up for part two of this guide. I hope you guys found it helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're just kind of here watching the gameplay, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like my content, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, leave any comments in the comment section. I'll be sure to reply. And hopefully we'll see you in part three.